sponsored by Gillette, the best a man can get. Welcome back. We'll get to Daniel Jones in just a second. But first, Cardinals and Panthers and Dante Jackson getting way up for the interception there. Great side angle there. Look at that vertical. Wow. <laughs> They're playing cover two. Quarterback tried to lift it over him. The cornerback was able to guard two. He guards the flat, baits the quarterback in trying to throw it up the rail. Great athletic play. Next up, Ravens and Chiefs and Lamar Jackson taking off, making two guys miss before hitting the end zone. And did it at 2:01, so they got the extra play before a third down conversion. Iced it for Kansas City. Furious fourth quarter by Baltimore. A couple wild fourth down throws by Lamar worked out for him as they attempted this comeback. Exciting game. All right, more from this exciting game. Patrick Mahomes throwing it off the back foot to Demarcus Robinson. Catches it with one hand. Demarcus Robinson had the huge game last week against Oakland with Tyreek Hill out. He had a quieter day yesterday except for this play right here. This was all an ad lib. He's supposed to be clearing down the middle. He sees Patty Mahomes scrambling. Patty puts, uh, he breaks his route off. He's going down the seam. He sees Patty get ready to scramble. Then he throws it to the corner. Great ad lib. See him, see him looking over his inside shoulder? He wasn't expecting to get that ball. Oh, look at this, though. All right, finally, CFL, BC Lions taking on Ottawa. Check out the trick play. Deron Carter oh. with the touchdown bomb. Oh, DC, he gets a double dip, throws a touchdown pass, catches a touchdown pass later on. Oh, yeah, he look can throw it now. Look at that. He played quarterback all the way up to the 10th grade. One of the Chris's son, one of the best receivers in the CFL. Team's having a tough year, but now back-to-back -back wins, right? Yeah, he said they're going on a hot streak. Okay. He said they were working on their chemistry. Okay, there we go. <laughs> nice throw to Ron. Shout out to him. All right, moving on. Giants, Bucks, Daniel Jones making his first start in Tampa. Scott, Giants got some bad news early, though, when Saquon Barkley had to leave the game with an ankle injury. Jones kept calm, carried on, finds Sterling Shepard for a touchdown. 28-25, Bucks. Fourth quarter, Giants down six. Fourth down, Jones. I'll take it myself. I thank you very much. Put the New York Giants up by one. Daniel Jones would finish with 336 passing yards, four total touchdowns. Tampa Bay would have one more chance, but Matt Gay would miss the 34-yarder, his third missed kick of the game, and the Giants fighting back from down 18 in the third for their biggest comeback in 49 years. Here's the star of the game, the rookie, Daniel Jones, after his first career start. You never really know how it's going to go. That's the fun part. That's, that's football, so... Um... You know, we, we found a way to win. We battled and, and uh, found a way to finish it, and that's what, um, you know, that's what's the most exciting. I don't know. You guys tell me. I thought he did a pretty good job first time out. Um, and I think <clears throat> as he go along, he'll continue to get better. We believed in him from the day we drafted him, and um, first time out, he didn't disappoint. Far and away, I thought, one of the most exciting games of the weekend. Mm -hmm. See how impressive was Daniel Jones in his starting debut yesterday? Uh, very exciting. Very exciting. It, it's hard to script what was going to happen after being announced a starter earlier in the week, and then now earlier in this game, they lose their best football player in Barkley, not being available potentially with a high ankle sprain. And what he was able to do after that, it was very impressive. Not the numbers, not the throws, but his composure. Being on the road, Jameis Winston was playing some great football. Yep. They were throwing it all over the place. And for him to be able to bring his team back, it's hard enough in this league to be able to come back, let alone a touchdown, touchdown the field goal. But 18 points, it speaks to Giants haven't done this in, 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 in the copy years. in 49 years. So very impressive, very impressive start for a young guy, very athletic. His mannerisms very, very similar to Eli. They talk about the production meeting the night before the game and talking to him. The announcer said after covering Eli for so long, they could close their eyes and it felt like they were still talking to Eli. So I thought the Giants did a good job as far as getting routes that he could throw. Tremendous training camp, tremendous offseason. And he's right, the coach did say they have believed in him from the beginning. That's why they drafted him in, in, in that spot. This is one of the first good things that happened to the Giants in a long time. In a very long time. I mean, they, in the last couple years, all that they've had is, well, Saquon's awesome. And that's really just been to hold on to. This mm -hmm. game, Saquon gets hurt. 
and Daniel Jones, who you have to be happy for, because through no fault of his own, he was roundly mocked by yours truly and many others. Be, be, not even him being mocked. The Giants mocked for picking him where they picked him. And given what his college profile was, given the fact that a lot of the draft experts thought he would be available at the end of the first round, and they took him in the top 10 at six overall, and he comes out and does something no rookie has ever done in his first career start. Two rushing, two rushing touchdowns, two passing touchdowns, and that play right there, I mean, that's a play that Eli, for all his good, could not make. Even with the Red Seas parting like that, him being able to run it there on fourth down, not quite to seal the victory because the Giants defense still put the let the Bucks get in field goal range, as we saw. And all the issues with the Giants that we've talked about, when people say, ah, it's not Eli's fault, they don't have a good offensive line, their defense stinks. We saw them all yesterday. Daniel Jones was under constant attack, and the defense still stinks. Yet he was good enough to drive them back for the victory, to keep them in the game, and then end up completing the victory. You've got to be excited and happy for him for you, you, an 18-point comeback, sure. two rushing touchdowns, <clears throat> a little context, Eli was probably going to be a Hall of Famer, seven rushing touchdowns in his career, zero 18-point comebacks to your stat earlier. It was as perfect of a start as one could imagine for a career, especially given the controversial, if you will, way he was announced as the starter with people thinking Eli should have been given more rope. And for all the similarities that Daniel Jones has to Eli Manning, the way they look, the way they dress, the way they act, their composure, their sort of subtle humbleness to them, the biggest difference you saw very quickly, he's far more athletic, at least, much better runner and much more aggressive in that than, than Eli ever was. How much more optimistic seeing that and that that component to his game are you about the Giants moving forward? Well, I'm glad the Giants have a quarterback, but what else are they going to do with it? Um, it'd been nice if the kid used to have the blonde hair, used to play there. Yes. Imagine if he was still playing there, all right, because you still need big time players. So I, I'm not going to be happy to say, oh man, you know, some, yeah, the, the Giants are well on their way. If they got Saquon Barkley and they got OBJ and they got Daniel Jones, they look like they can be an outfit that could play some good football for a long time. I like the marriage with the coach and the quarterback. Now are they going to put the other things around? I'm concerned about can he stay healthy? With that offensive line, Eli is going to play some more football this year because there's no way that that kid's going to be able to stay healthy. We said that when they named him the starter. We didn't think it was going to be over with. That offensive line is bad. If Barkley's out an extended period of time, um, rumor has it that he might have a high ankle sprain. He had one this freshman year at Penn State, which caused him to miss a couple games. But an explosive runner like that with a high ankle sprain, he's going to miss some time. Now what are NFL defense is going to do? They ain't concerned about him running. All they got to do is put everyone in the box and heat up that quarterback. So for me, there's still worries. One game don't make a career, but tremendous start by Daniel Jones and the Giants were able to, with the e kicker. Eke out the victory. I mean, the, the defense tried to give it back to him. You know, you, football God smiled fondly on the Giants and smiled poorly on the Bucks for intentionally taking a delay of game because they thought their kicker was better from further out than closer in, which I've never heard before. But if what he did, you mentioned Saquon got hurt. If people didn't watch the game, especially people, if you're not in the New York area, you probably didn't watch the game. I mean, Saquon got hurt early in this game. He had in the game 10 carries, eight carries for 10 yards, pardon me, and a few receptions. They did this with no running attack, aside from Daniel Jones on that touchdown. They did this having to pass the ball, by the way, not only no Odell, of course, but still no Golden Tate, who's still out with the suspension. You, you have to be more optimistic in this regard. If you, like me, after the draft thought, well, the Giants have all these issues and they don't have a quarterback. Now you have to open your mind to the possibility that Dave Gettleman, through many missteps, got one right at the quarterback position. Of course, one game doesn't make a career, and I'm not ready to anoint Daniel Jones the right pick yet, but he couldn't have been better in that first start in more adverse circumstances because of the offensive line, right. because of Saquon. And now next week, they get a home game, his first game at home against Washington, and all of a sudden they could be 500. So you have to be more optimistic, even though if there are still some infrastructure issues and what would he have looked like with Odell, I think was in a lot of people's mind when they were watching him yesterday. Look, the Giants got the win. Daniel Zone had a very successful first start, which will indeed boost his confidence. So they are happy today. Coming up, did Patrick Mahomes make a statement against Lamar and the Ravens? That's next on First Things First.